This video shows how to disassemble a Neutrik NE8FDX-Y6B, otherwise known as a D-shaped CAT6A shielded black panel connector when you look at the web page description. But when you check the assembly instructions, it's just called an EtherCon CAT6A chassis connector. Because why would you call it the same thing? That would make sense. Remember, this job is all about learning the secret handshakes because that's what gets us the bucks. Not the big bucks. Just the bucks. No, the big bucks are reserved for a lucky narcissist in a capitalist economic political system. So if you're watching this and you think that may be you, just take a long, hard look in the mirror and ask yourself the hard questions. And if you don't feel anything at all, then you are probably the CEO of a very successful company and talked about on Twitter. Or you may own Twitter or tried to own it. This is the black connector, and I think you can do this with other colored housing, but. I don't know for sure because I have not tried it, so your mileage may vary. You may be asking yourself, Mike, the assembly instructions contain directions to open the connector. Why do I need to watch this video? Well, you see, I believe there was a typo in these instructions. I mean, I think they meant to write how to break this meaningless metal tab, or why would we tell you how to reuse these things when we're charging nearly 20 bucks a piece for these babies? Every time we sell some, we laugh all the way to the bank. <laughs> Suckers. Or, to quote Johnny Five from the 1986 movie Short Circuit, no disassemble. But we're going to give Neutrick the benefit of the doubt in this situation, because we're good people, and we assume good intentions. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. You'll need a trash can close by, nippers, and something to pry with. The prying tool I'm using came from a little iFixit set I've got. I think if I could find a tiny little fork that perfectly fit these grooves, that may work better. But we'll just have to MacGyver it for now. Man, I love that theme song. First, you cut the zip tie. Or don't cut it. I don't know your life. Next, we're going to pry this apart while trying not to muck up the plastic too much. When I put my pry tool in... I can feel it slip into the grooves. Then I like to twist the screwdriver a bit. Then I'll do the other side. And eventually, when I give it just the right amount of pressure, it'll pop loose. Now, that amount of pressure usually feels like a trip to the emergency room for stitches because you just slipped and stabbed your hand with an iFixit screwdriver. Let's try that again, because why do it once when you can do it twice? Nippers to cut. Pry on this side. Pry on that side. Big money, no whammies. There. When you're done, don't forget to celebrate these small victories. We aren't painting happy little trees here, but we are terminating happy little wires. I hope that helped somebody out there. And until next time, just know if you give your wire strippers exotic dancer names, I won't judge you. And now we welcome Chastity to the main tech bench.